NASA held their end of year employee award ceremony to celebrate excelling workers in the organization. Before their award ceremony, they took the opportunity to officially open their guest house, which underwent renovations to meet world class standards. This is now our first guest house in Harare. It's a place where NASA will entertain not only its staff, its board, but visitors to NASA. It has now been fully renovated, well furnished, and ready to receive uh, visitors. In many ways showing that this leadership that we have from the executive side and also from the board uh, side are very serious about creating value with the various properties that NASA, NASA holds, and this is one of them. The guest house is a world-class venue which encompasses luxurious accommodation and a variety of services. We commend NASA for really taking on a journey of transformation. NASA is one of the best resources that this nation has in terms of national development. As we use these resources, we should do it prudently in a manner that creates additional value for our pensioners. NASA celebrated its outstanding employees and gave awards to the best employees in various fields. We celebrated today the hard work by celebrating the achievements of some of our staff. We also today thanked our Honorable Minister. Without his tireless efforts, today's NASA would not have been. We have also seen the recognition uh, during the year that NASA has uh, received from independent bodies. We have uh, taken note of the good work that is uh, happening at NASA. This kind of ceremony uh, gives confidence to the workers to the extent that they feel they are being recognized, their efforts are being recognized in the organization, which is major. So uh, it's the work of the year in terms of COVID management, the response team. So I was working with the doctors and other people from HR. It means a lot. I, didn't, I never thought that I would win this award. And uh, it was like, is it true? Then I was, ah, and I could see the cheer and the people were saying, especially my clients, they will say, ah, sister, we are happy for you. You did a lot to us. NASA was also recognized by independent bodies, such as the Institute of Corporate Directors Zimbabwe, for their excellence in corporate governance. I got an award for the best company secretary or the best corporate secretary in the Para State House event in Zimbabwe. It's a great feeling indeed. Um, I am pleased with myself, but I attribute it to the support that I have from the board of directors, management and those within my department who are assisting me to deliver on um, the mandate that I have as the board secretary of NASA. The historical appointment of a pensioner on the NASA board as vice chair marks a huge step forward. I'm very happy about this appointment because now there is a flow of information between NASA, the board and ourselves who are the pensioners. We picked a, a lady because we wanted gender balance um, and we then said we want her to be the vice chair of the board. So it was like a crowding moment for our pensioners. Congratulations, first of all, for a good work during the year 2021. As chairman, I can only achieve through my colleagues in the board, through the executive management, through all the managers and workers of NASA. We have celebrated the winners that came in front, but I want to say to you, all of us in NASA are winners. Merry, Merry Christmas, and wish them an even more prosperous 2022.